Good evening, friends. Stephen Bernoon with Israeli News Live. A lot of things going on in the world. I'm just going to kind of highlight a few things here. Getting ready to go to a Zoom meeting there with uh, the friends there on LifeWave. And uh, by the way, if you want to join, if you're interested in this product, so many amazing things that we're discovering. People are discovering the people that are being helped just blowing me completely away. I'm going to put it in the description, the Zoom meeting link. Now, we are limited to 100 people, so if you don't make it in, I apologize, but I'll put that in the link here. Uh, that meeting is coming up here in about 30 minutes, so I'm going to be quick on the news, and I'm going to come back after the news here. I've got some things I want to share with you from my heart. We're going to be looking at some biblical issues there want to do that tonight as well. God bless you. Let's get started. They have released the dossier, or at least the names that are on uh, Epstein's, uh, some of the people that are on his list there. And and what was funny, I'm sitting there looking at Twitter and, uh, and some of the stuff here on Twitter about it, that's actually about a bombing in Iran. 16 uh, ships were, were, were destroyed over there. No doubt. Well, you can only imagine who's probably involved in that. Uh, but uh, but as a, as a result, like in this one here, they're 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 ready to beat up Bill Clinton for being on that list there. And I'm sure I don't think there's going to be anybody really innocent. Think about it, right? You got to remember, politicians are set up. They get dirt on them so they can use that against them to bring them in line. Well, if you want to bring down a nation, what better way than to put make sure that you got dirt on all these people that have become candidates, politicians, etc. Right? Uh, and I can only imagine which country might very well be involved. Real quick, before I go into more about the Epstein file there, I want to play this here Bill for toy, you. And what he is saying there is that, uh, that, that, that what happened there, an unknown explosion has occurred in a port there in Iran. Yep, yep. 16, 16 vessels uh, believed to be destroyed in that, uh, that attack there. No one has really claimed responsibility as of yet. I'll find it interesting. No doubt they'll probably blame ISIS. Hmm. ISIS does everything. Just remember who was the head of the ISIS uh, team when they were caught there. All right, just remember the connections to mm, that M-O-S-S-A. Well, we won't finish that. You already know who that is. At any rate, there are other uh, things that are going on here. I also thought this was pretty interesting. I'm going to jump back to Epstein here in just a moment here. This is Daniel McAdams right here. Talk about some very insightful information that Daniel McAdams says in this here, uh, Defeat the Deep State. Listen to this. War is the mother of all government programs. War is the health of the state. War is a racket. All wars are bankster wars. All wars are launched from a mountain of lies. DC is a duopoly on most things, but especially when it comes to foreign policy. A few more weapons, a few more surges. Half the GDP of the entire country of Ukraine is our aid from February till now. Oh, well, there's a lot of people that are pretty messed up in Ukraine right now, and it's a pretty bad situation. We're going to build some houses, give them some medicine? No, 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 no. They just announced $687 million we're going to go to Raytheon because we sent all of our anti-tank missiles to Ukraine. So we're going to get some new ones. And Raytheon, he's delivering the goods. Can you imagine that? Raytheon. By the way, Raytheon is also heavy involved in the... Uh, technology for extraterrestrial spaceships that we've been doing reverse engineering on. I've shared that with you before over on our Patreon channel. In fact, I did a video on Patreon just the other day about these uh, alleged alien creatures, eight to ten foot tall, seen at the mall in Miami there. Uh, need to do an update on that too. There is more information that's come out about that yet. Some people call it blue beam. It's not blue beam. We told you months ago there is going to be a merging of dimensions. That's being caused by the hydrogen collider, not just one hydrogen collider, multiple hydrogen colliders going off. That's causing the merging of dimensions and the reason why people are starting to see creatures. And aliens are only the beginning. Imagine what's going to be next in your living room. What about if it's a mammoth or something like that or some worm-looking creature? Yeah, pretty weird and strange things. We share those things over on our Patreon channel. Uh, you'll 
catch that in the link below there. Bill Clinton being asked about being on that uh, list there, listening to what Bill Clinton says. And by the way, when the list did come out, they did say there was no evidence of him having any wrongdoing. Uh, never uh, indicated that. Listen to this. Any comments on the alleged uh, allegation of your uh, connection with Jeffrey Epstein? No. And he just kind of smiles and walks away on that one right there. And then, of course, we have in this article here on Newsweek, um, they do go into there. Let's see, there is no indication that the seal records contain a sign of any wrongdoing on Clinton's part there. So that's one reason he, why he was able to smile and walk away. I guess in testimony, things like that, there is nothing that has uh, connected him. It also said during Maxwell's 2021 trial, it was revealed that Trump had flown several times on Epstein's jet, dubbed the Lolita Express in the 1990s. Now, again, it doesn't say that he did any wrongdoing. It's not ruling it out. But there are some people that are saying, oh, Trump never was at the island. Well, it doesn't say he's at the island. It just said he flew on that jet there. But there is a number of names on there. Host of prominent figures have been linked to Epstein and Maxwell, including Prince Andrew and former Presidents Bill Clinton and Donald Trump, according to the article here. Goofrey also alleges she was directly to have sex with former Senator Majority Leader George Mitchell, the late fashion and modeling director Jean-Luc Brunel, billionaire hedge fund manager Glenn Dubin, and then Governor of New Mexico Bill Richardson. You know, it is a absolutely appalling shame the things that have happened uh, to these girls there. And some of the pictures and things like that are, are just troubling. There's a hundred names on here. Some of these names you'll be familiar with. Some of those you may not. Some of them are redacted until the court can decide whether or not they should or should not be on there. Even Michael Jackson's name appears on there. Stephen Hawking, are you serious? Uh, I mean, what, what are you guys going to accuse him of? Uh, I, I, I don't know, you know, but if you some of the uh, there's one video on Twitter that was very disturbing talking about adrenal chrome. Uh, so I don't know what to tell you about that there. Um, wow. You know, you even have some very well known actors on here as well. Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, and there again, doesn't mean that they were actually on the island. They're just on this list. David Copperfield. Uh, so Carolyn Cassie. Uh, you know, just just to name a few, and if I'm not mistaken, I think they even said that it was, uh, ooh, I, for, I forget her name. I don't see it right off the top of my head, but David Copperfield, another one on there. A lot of very well, 90 names included on the documents with the four, four of those names being redacted. Uh, this is what Newsweek had put out right there. Uh, seems like Epstein had his eyes where they did not belong as well. Uh, Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. This is just a little bit of a rundown of things that are going on in the world. A lot more happening. I'll be working the next couple of days to try to really bring us up to date on the Ukraine, China, and uh, Middle East situation. I want to really work on that tomorrow for you guys. Um, and then, like I said, later tonight, I want to also bring out some uh, more biblical insights that I think are important for you to be aware of. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for this uh, broadcast, or excuse me, the Zoom meeting here. And like I said, you're welcome to join uh, if you are interested in the LifeWave uh, products there or knowing more about them, uh, or you know, you're interested in even being a distributor. You can actually become a distributor as well. Uh, but I am more impacted by what these products do, not just X39. The company has amazing products, uh, deals with pain. Uh, my aunt Dil has uh, beginning stages of dementia, and uh, and I just saw a promising uh, testimony where they followed a lady for a month that had dementia, and the it does the patch doesn't cure it, but what it does it stimulates your body, it stimulates your body, uh, causes it to reflect the infrared lights in your body that stimulates copper peptides in your body, and those in turn activate your baby stem cells, your own stem cells, nobody else, no injected stem cells, and then those stem cells go to work wherever the trouble is in your body. Now, one beautiful testimony I watched today about a lady with dementia, no way for a placebo effect with her, 
She couldn't tell you the name of the president or, the, or, or even three presidents that ever existed. She was suffering so bad when they started her. 11 days later, she already could start to name the president. 21 days later, she could name the president and three other presidents. A month later, she was talking about how she had gotten her life back. I was blown away. Wish I had known about this while my father was still alive. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for watching and good evening.